All right, so I'm back out on the river today. Got out here last minute. Uh, that's just kind of how I roll, you know. If the weather looks good and I got enough time to get out here and actually fish, I come out. So today we're doing the same thing. I'm going to start with the dock rat, 12 inch. I'm going to start big. Uh, if I start losing confidence in that, I'll just downsize to my 11 inch. ABT uh, Homicide Glide. It's 10 and a half or 11 inch. They haven't been selling these lately, but it's a sick bait. And then on my lighter rod, I'm gonna go with the uh, 10 inch mag draft. And we'll see what happens. I'll uh, throw I'll, I'll throw these for a while, you know, if I get tired of them. Or if nothing happens and I'm losing confidence, I'll just uh, downsize a little bit. Maybe I'll throw an S waiver instead of this or an A rig and uh, go to an S waiver on my other rods or something or a jigging spoon or flutter spoon or whatever. But today I just, I wanna get bit. I wanna catch a fish, not necessarily uh, a giant, although I really do wanna catch a 40 this year or bigger, you know? My ultimate goal is a 50, but still have to break a 40 pound mark there. And uh, today is like the perfect type of day to do it. There's no wind, it wants to rain. I might suit up just in case it starts raining, but uh, I'm just gonna go out and give her hell for a few hours. So I'll keep you posted. No current. Oh, I got one. There he is. Got one, Lou. Oh, on the 12 inch. He came off. Son of a. No, oh, he didn't. This is a great fish. Just like that. I thought I was on the bottom. I thought I was dragging bottom. It's only four feet deep up there. I don't know if he's pinned or not. I... Oh, this is a good fish. I'm 
feel them shaking the lure. Look out, Lou. This is a huge fish. He keeps shaking the lure, man. Hope he doesn't come out. Tony, man, days like this. Still haven't seen him yet. Oh, he's a good one. He is a good and Get back. Get back, Lou. This guy's barely hooked, man. Get back, Lou. Definitely the biggest fish of my life. Back, Lou. Oh my God, this is a giant fish. Oh man, this fish is huge. Forty five inches.
There he goes. Look, I still got scales on my bench right here. But look at that. As I was fighting him, so he came up and hit the tail and had that hanging out of his mouth. And he had these two hooks in the corner of his mouth right there. And I kept thinking he was popping off the whole time, but this front was just raking across his uh, gill plate and picking up scales. So it'd catch and then pop off and catch and pop off. And I thought I lost him a couple times there. But uh, look at this hook. And I'm not fishing heavy drag at all, maybe 16 pounds, 20 at the most. That hook got destroyed, man. That's why I don't fish with, that's why I don't usually use a net either. Because if they get twisted up in your net, you got to cut these hooks out and they'll destroy a hook or a bait. But man, another good one on my dock rat here. Like, like I was saying earlier, I was going to start big. I've been waiting for weather like this all winter. It's been like a few months since we had any good weather like this. I got out here late, but it was just enough time for me to come out here and fish for a couple hours. And I like catching it at the tail end of the day anyway, but man. It still hasn't hit me. That fish, so the official measurement was 45 inches. I've got a, a straight edge on my uh, bench here that I can measure it at. Here's the slide on my little 50 pound rinky dink uh, scale here. And it's 45 pounds. It hasn't moved. I measured it a couple times. I weighed it a couple times. And that's where I'm sticking at. Man, my, my biggest ever so far is 38. And I've caught multiple 38s. But I just destroyed that. I really wanted a 40 this year. And ultimately, I'd love to catch a 50 as far as lifetime goal. I know that a few of those get caught every year. But what a fish. When it was laying here, the thickness of it, not how wide it was, but like from the top of the back to the belly took up almost this whole bench so anyway what an amazing fish i've still got some time so i'm going to replace this hook and keep fishing all right guys can't believe that i got that giant one